So while well, this is the fourth year of the campus infrastructure project replacing the steam tunnels in the North Campus area, so we knew it was coming and we knew this was going to be the big year of impact for us right outside the museum in our main parking lot area. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why not do something like this? You know, we're a museum, we're used to, you know, producing exhibits that pose questions, that answer questions, and here's this giant curiosity, you know, that's, that's happening right outside our, our front steps, literally, so why not produce an educational exhibit and, you know, kind of take this as a moment of education? And to my delight, um, Campus Infrastructure loved the idea and said let's do it. So we were really really happy to work with them. So we, we like a lot of buildings in this area, uh, receive our steam heat from the power plant which is way across campus, you know, over half a mile away and it's this very um, massive and intricate series of steam tunnels that um, distribute the heat across campus. So they're, they've got some age on them, they've got some deterioration issues, so they've been replaced over the last several years in a phased project. And of course, it's a big project and you know a lot of people realize that MSU doesn't shut down over the summer. There, there's a pretty high level of activity that we maintain so um, campus infrastructure worked to kind of stagger this project over four years. We also wanted to shed a little light on this idea of infrastructure. We use that word a lot but people may not realize what does that really mean. So we, we talk a little bit about this really complex and interconnected series of systems and you know also recognizing that much of that work sometimes is out of sight out of mind it's literally underground so we're revealing a, l a little bit of the the work that's happening that people don't always get think about or get to see